your first time here in Austin? No, I love Austin. I come here three or four times a year. I think I've done six of the eight Austin food and wines, and I, uh, I come to South by Southwest every year, and then there's fun times. Come down to see a band or eat at some restaurants or just hang out for the weekend. It's one of my favorite cities in America. You try food all around the world. What do you think makes Austin? Um, I actually think it's the diversity. Um, there is, you know, the I, I'm not a big uh, believer in city slogans, um, but that whole Austin is weird thing to me really should be Austin is super open minded. It's the most diverse, open minded, and progressive city in Texas. Texas, one of the greatest locations for food globally. When you just look at it, you know, border to border, north, south, east, west, as far as the state is concerned. And people here are used to being experimented at. I think it comes from the history of the music scene here. And people are just super, super open minded about their food, about their music, about their arts, about their culture. And what a beautiful environment to be in. So, I mean, this part of Texas is gorgeous. I think it all plays into it. One of the main things in Austin, I think, is a lot of chefs support sustainability and eco friendly farming and stuff like that. Do you think that that's where the food industry is going? Well, I mean, obviously. Short answer, yes. Uh, I don't think it's where it's going. I think it's where it's returning to. Um, I, I also think that, you know, when I said before that Austin was such a progressive city, that's a progressive idea. There are four farm restaurants, right, or farm food facilities within two miles of the state capital. That's a stunning, stunning thing. I cooked at South by Southwest. We did a dinner at Eden East. Incredible location, incredible concept. And what they're proving out to people is that this whole farm to table thing is just how people should be eating you know the challenge is how to feed communities that are being left out of this you know food is the new rock cultural explosion and i think cities like austin cities like minneapolis where i live are going to figure it out you know it's i think it's hard for new york or los angeles to get their arms around i think they're going to look to smaller cities in the middle of the country to see how they solve that problem why do you think it's important for cities to have a food identity and to have this for visitors? We swim in food. It's it's not just a cultural totem. It, it is who we are. Man first left Southern Africa in search of walking, in search of animals with more fat in them to grow our brains. I mean, food is integral to who we are. We delight in it three times a day. In the history of human civilization, which is this big, we've only eaten for pleasure for a very small piece of it. But I think what's, what's exciting people is diving into the history of that very small piece of eating for pleasure. When it comes down to tourism, people want to taste a place. When you say the word New Orleans, right, you can literally taste it and you can smell it. Austin, when I say that word, the first thing that I smell barbecue. And I know that's a label that people say, oh, we're more than barbecue, but you know, be open to the idea that brings everybody here, and then you can hit them with all the incredible choices. I mean, one of the best sushi, one of the best Japanese restaurants in America is here, you know, in Uchi and Uchiko, and I'm just, I'm not even touching some of the other incredible Japanese restaurants that are here. So it, Austin's full of surprises, but I think you got to bring them in with something. I think it's that food history piece, wood plus food equals fire and cooking, I just think is a wonderful sort of template for tourism. You also have a children's book, right? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I'm super, the coolest thing that I've ever made in my life is AZ and the Lost City of Ophir. It's number one on Amazon. It just won the Independent Booksellers Gold Medal Award uh, for juvenile fiction. Please go buy AZ and the Lost City of Ophir, a rollicking ride of a children's book, but the money goes to no kid hungry. So you're also doing something really, really important for folks. See how I look people in the eye when I want them to do something? <laughs> Um, but yeah, it's 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 a wonderful adventure uh, tale, rollicking Indiana Jones style uh, cliffhanger at each chapter. But it really shows real kids solving real problems on their own. And there's, I, I think parents will really enjoy having their kids. It's adventure learning, but kids love it. So I think it's a, it's a special book, and we hope to do a lot more of them. Uh, Amazon is where people can find it. Last question. Yeah. Tell me, what is some advice that you would give somebody who's interested in having a show? Uh, it, it's the just do it part and be patient. Uh, I think we have, you know, the last 50, 60 years generation, generationally, we've lost patience. We've lost patience for everything. Uh, we want things immediately. We, we live in an instant gratification culture. So I'm fascinated by the way in which people want to have, you know, the big house, the fancy car, you know, the big one. However it is you measure things, people want it without 
sort of the benefit of, and it's not even necessarily hard work, just of gaining the experience and uh, enjoying the ride. And if you don't enjoy the ride, then when success comes however you measure, you're not going to be able to know what to do with it. Um, I think other-centeredness is something that has also lost its importance in American culture. Um, everyone is, how do I get blank? And, and we all look, we all have to survive, we all have to do things and, you know, contribute to our families and do what we need to do to nurture ourselves. But I think we, we need to ask more often, what can I do for other people? And then indirectly, the what happens to me is going to be a lot better, a lot more fulfilling.